Okay, hopefully this is the quickest tutorial on how to remove your center console trim. I have this roughly mocked up, so here we go. Step one is put your fist directly over your shift knob, pull really fucking hard so that smacks you right in the face. And then pull the cover off and the sound dampening if you have that, and then just ignore this for now because, well, that comes last. Divert your attention to the rear, pull your cup holder out, and make sure that you don't spill any of your coins. There are two tabs in the front that you're going to want to make sure you don't break off like I have, and then there might be a screw in the back. There wasn't one for me. You're going to see a theme here. And then there's tabs that go in there. Those are hard to get out. Just pull on it, and it comes out. Awesome. Now, flip that down. Go to your ashtray that I'm sure all of you still use. There are two screw rivets. I don't know what to call those expanding plastic screw rivets. Right here, remove those. That allows you to remove this. Then there will be a screw right here. What does it allow you to do? It allows you to push on the inside of this and then out on both sides. And boom, that comes off. Then you can flip this forward and you'll notice this will be attached like this. This flap will be on this pin. You will put a flathead screwdriver in there and expand that on both sides, and then boom, this comes off. What does that allow you to do? Gives you access to that hole. You're gonna take a really small flathead screwdriver and just like stick it in there and push really hard. And then that releases this side pin. You're pushing on that tab. You're gonna pull that pin out, and then hopefully on the other side it just comes out too, but you're gonna probably have to use a screwdriver. When that comes off, there's gonna be a rubber grommet that sits right there. You don't wanna remove those, because if you lose those, you'll be extremely sad. So what does that do? It allows you to just remove this and throw it aside. Now, remove your leather guy from the center of here. I find that pulling the back off first, and then the front works for me. Do whatever works for you. You're gonna pull that through, and then you're gonna come back here. Finally, with the shift boot, re shift boot removed, you can push from the inside, boom, pop your uh, hazard lights out. That will be connected to this, but this is just a plug, and it disconnects with the flathead screwdriver. You're also gonna do that to the rest of your instruments. You're gonna have, you know, central locking or anything else that you have. And then these are just regular plugs that you disconnect. I like to feed them back through and then reconnect them so I remember where they are. Now with this disconnected, you can remove this screw right here, which holds, is the last screw holding this part. So now you can remove this. Ooh, nice. Reveal all the Cheeto dust from 20 years of use. Here we go. Now to the prime part that you guys are probably waiting for. Actually, not yet. You gotta remove this. There's a hole at the bottom of the OBD. You probably can't even see that. You stick your finger back there and then just like push out really hard. Um, there's gonna be two pins on the back. Uh, I only have one for demonstration purposes. There's a push down on top to release this black swing arm. You guys have probably seen that before. Pull it out. Stick that in there. Boom. OBD port out. Um, cigarette guy just slides in here. So you just pull them out. Um, you will have, depending on if you have ASC, heated seats, blah, 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 you gotta pop those out. And then there's gonna be two connections on the back, and there will be a light. Um, now that you're here, you're so close. It's gonna be a screw here, one screw. And there's gonna be a screw over here, so that's two screws. Then, there's gonna be a screw that I can't show on camera. But, I promise you, it's right there. It's like right behind this post against the wall. So that's three screws. And then there's gonna be one on the other side. It's right here. Maybe I can show that. Nope, not quite. So that's four screws. Then there's a fifth screw right here on top. There's a sixth screw way on the other side on top. And then there's a asshole screw in the back to make your sixth screw. It's behind this metal post. You can't, you can't get it out unless you Undo that and start pulling this side out. But I have a solution to that. And then there's another screw, um, basically, behind this metal post. So that makes eight screws total to take out your center console trim. And once you take those out, then your center console trim just comes right out. And there you go. So how do you put this back together? And how the heck 
do you remove it when you can't even get those screws out? Well, what you do is you break them. Break the top two, take a hacksaw, make it nice and flat, and then go in there afterwards and remove the screws and just never run those screws ever again because you already have the two on the top that hold it in there nice and easy. So, yep, just forget about those two screws. Turn your eight screw center console into a six screw center console trim and be happy. There you go. And then when you're done doing whatever you were doing to your trim, just reinstall it and you're good.